a model is a mannequin. She's there to show the clothes. You become the clothes, and your personality just goes into the clothes and into each garment. You must be a, a formal long gown, you must be a short coat, you must be a pair of slacks, and I think most models tend to forget this. What are the problems that occur right now? Well, there are immediate problems. Where are the tickets? Where are my boots? Where are the gloves? Are Why aren't the earrings out? They're always the same. She's late. Who's late? She. It's always, someone is always late. The hairdresser hasn't finished. We can't start. The place is crowded. It's too hot. It's too cold. The Everybody get the right name. Can so you get used to the complaints? Oh, you can please that. You get used to the commotion. But you always work under these uh, conditions. Is it like the theater? I don't know. I've never been in the theater. And do people have stage fright? And then... Oh, no, no, no. No, no. no stage fright. What do you have to think about at this point? Well, that's one of the advantages of being a model. You don't have to think. Everything is done for you. You're dressed, you're given your shoes, you're given your hat, you're given your gloves. You're told when you go out, you're told that you've got a quick change, you're told that you have time. You don't have to think. I really think. Here we are in June, looking at garments that are going to be shipped in two or three months from now for fall and bought it around in, in September and October and worn for next December and January and February. That's eight months from now. 5604 and 5. We don't actually sell to anybody but buyers. Because we're what we are as a wholesale manufacturing establishment. Uh, we rarely see it directly in our showroom, the lady who's going to wear the garment herself. Once there's an applause early in a show, if it happens for whatever reason, then it'll come more readily. It kind of opens them up. F, F684. People are here enjoying the show and, and looking at it and applauding and everything else and backstage putting the model on and off. Probably somebody's being nervous about some zipper not working or something. Well, you really can't hear any, anything. If they're screaming, they scream in a whisper. Do you have to go in and out, but fast. Can I get the two gray person? Go, 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 go. I don't want anybody to wait on that. Ah, je vous en prie, parce qu'on attend, j'aime pas ça. Come on. Shut up. I need somebody, you see. She can't wait. Come. Take your time for a minute, will you, please? Now, twirl there. I just want to take your color. Yes. Yeah. She should have bigger earrings. Oh my God. I don't want to see this. Who's got my What does this tip take? All of a sudden. There are some buyers whom I like to watch for their reactions. One of them is, has her back to me today, so I won't do any good. <laughs> and I watch Mrs. Pope occasionally, who is right now being just sort of very stony-faced because the one who just went by is the kind of thing that she never sells in her shop. So it doesn't matter to her one way or the other. F618 in black ermine. getting rather more individual applause than we get per show. This is one I would not have expected to really get that much attention. This is a fantastic dress and it's going to retail for $1,900 and it's worth every penny. It's all by hand.
see a few more smiles as you look. Can I see you? Gillis is the last today? Good. Yes? Yeah, it's all right. I so need you're... any gloves. I need... Oh, now, roses, come on. And you give them to the men. Thank you.